The Washington State Department of Transportation is studying noise from the I-5 Ship Canal Bridge in Seattle. Traffic noise is a concern for residents who live near highways, especially for the densely populated neighborhoods near the I-5 Ship Canal Bridge. When we built I-5 in the 1960s, noise was less of a concern because there was less traffic. Since then, noise levels increased as traffic grew. Today, reducing noise in the neighborhoods surrounding the bridge is a high priority. The study area is located between East Hamlin Street in the south to approximately Northeast 43rd Street in the north. The study includes residents and businesses in the Wallingford, University District, East Lake, Portage Bay, and Roanoke Park neighborhoods. Traffic noise is measured in units called decibels. Because of the way noise is measured, a 10 decibel increase in noise actually sounds twice as loud. Noise levels in the neighborhoods surrounding the Ship Canal Bridge range from 66 to 87 decibels. At 66 decibels, most people find it difficult to hold a conversation. For reference, a blender at 3 feet away is approximately 80 decibels. This graphic demonstrates that there are two ways traffic noise reaches neighborhoods. Noise can travel directly to the neighborhoods from vehicles moving across the bridge, and noise can also reflect and reverberate within the bridge structures before reaching the neighborhoods. The multiple sources of noise makes reducing freeway noise from the bridge a unique challenge. This is the first time the state has pursued noise reduction on a double-deck bridge structure. We have been evaluating new and innovative noise-reducing technologies to determine the best approach for this unique situation. In 2004, a preliminary analysis was conducted to identify technologies that may help reduce traffic noise in this area. In 2005, WashDOT received $5 million as part of the gas tax to further study noise reduction technologies for the Ship Canal Bridge. From 2006 to 2007, we evaluated the technologies identified in the 2004 study to determine if they would be feasible for this area. In 2008, we convened a panel of national experts in acoustics to look at the results from our earlier analysis and recommend options to move forward and implement a noise reduction technology on the bridge. During the 2008 expert review, three options were identified for reducing noise in this area. One, installing a noise absorptive material on the ceiling above the express lanes to reduce reflected and reverberant noise. Two, modifying existing barriers on the bridge to block and absorb noise near the source. Three, replacing or rehabilitating the pavement on the bridge to address noise at the source. Based on expert recommendations and available funding, we are moving forward to install a test section of noise absorptive material on the ceiling above the I-5 express lanes. In deciding on a noise reducing technology, we considered the cost of the technology and how many residents and businesses would benefit. We also considered whether modifications would be needed to the bridge in order to implement the technology. The ceiling treatment technology met all of our criteria and was determined to be the best use of the allocated funding. The test section will begin just south of East Gwynn Place and end just north of East Allison Street. It will be approximately 500 feet long on both the east and west sides of the bridge. The ceiling panels will hang from underneath the upper deck of Ship Canal Bridge like a curtain, as seen in this graphic. There will be several rows of panels on the outside edges of both sides of the bridge. The panels will be oriented parallel to the direction of traffic and securely bolted to the ceiling. The panels are made of a lightweight material with a layer of insulation on the inside, a durable vinyl backing, and a cloth cover. This material is typically used in industrial applications and near construction sites to minimize noise. The panels are designed to absorb and block some of the reflected noise that bounces off the ceiling of the express lanes and into neighborhoods in this area. We plan to complete the design of the ceiling treatment test section later this year and advertise the test section for competitive bids. Early next year, we will hire a contractor and order the panel materials, which will take several months to secure. 
Installation of the ceiling panels on the Ship Canal Bridge is expected to begin mid-2010. We are currently using our noise models to determine what level of noise reduction can be expected from the ceiling panels. Our goal is to achieve a noticeable reduction in overall traffic noise in areas closest to the test section. Since this is the first time this material has been used in this way, we will monitor the test section for at least one year to evaluate its durability and effectiveness in this environment. This monitoring will help us understand how the noise absorptive material works and can be used in the future. To learn more about the study and follow our progress, you can visit our website, email the project team, or call us.